Western desserts over Eastern desserts. This is controversial. All day, every day, Monday to Sunday, yeah. 366 days a year, because yeah. this is a leap year. This stuff, this, okay. don't need it. Don't need it for this show. My index finger is my most dexterous finger. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I don't know what's in it, but it's nice. <laughs> that is a perfect morsel of food going into my mouth. That's why eating with your hands is so delightful and it feels great. I'm excited. Hello, welcome to Hands Down, the show where I showcase and sample foods from around the world that are best enjoyed eaten with hands. Now, you know, some of you will know, I'm half Pakistani, half Bangladeshi. So to, on today's episode, I thought I'd go to a Pakistani restaurant. I've come all the way to Northwest London and Hendon, bit of a dusty end to be honest, but it is the home of Aladdin's Kebabish, which is said to be the home of Nihari. Apparently, they do the best Nihari in the whole of London. Now, Nihari, if you don't know what it is, it's a slow cooked stew. One of the best dishes in the world, I would say from my Pakistani side, one of the only dishes from Pakistan I really, really love. So, because I'm coming to a Pakistani restaurant, I thought, do you know what? I've got to bring along a Pakistani person with me. Now, you'll know me as the best Pakistani comedian in the country, or half anyway. So I thought, why not get the second best Pakistani comedian to join me? It's my brother, your friend. You'll know him from things like Live at the Apollo, Mock the Week, the Tez O'Clock Show, and man like Mobin. It's the man himself, Tez Ilyas. That was a good intro, wasn't it? Second best. Second best after me. I'm looking forward to this. Yeah? I thought this was like an Arabic joint because of Aladdin. Aladdin, exactly. And but... kebabish is also like not usually something you'd think is a Nihari type restaurant. Yeah. They do kebab rolls and stuff. Yeah, although one of the best restaurants in Blackburn, which is where I'm from, yeah. it's called kebabish. So I got quite excited because I thought it was a sister restaurant. Yeah. But it's not, it's different. And I'm looking forward to this because I don't think I'm a fan of Nihari. Okay. I don't think I am. Right. But I'm happy to be proven wrong. Well, there's two things here. One, Apparently they do the best Nihari in London. Okay, so if I, if I don't like this, then I just don't like you're Nihari. You're not going to like Nihari at okay, all. Okay, fine. And the second is, because you're from Blackburn, mm -hmm. I think Blackburn generally, they do better desi restaurants than we do in the South. Yeah, yeah. O up North have better desi restaurants. If you want proper legit desi restaurants, you need to go to Blackburn, Bradford, Manchester, Birmingham. Yeah. But we're here. We're here. So shall we go? Leeds. Yeah. Yeah. All right. See you in a bit. So apparently on this wall are all the famous Pakistanis. And you'll notice that oh. Neil. You'll notice that me and Tez are not. It's you'll the notice that me and Tez are not on the wall. We're not on the wall yet. It's the goal. In the Marmul Huck. In the Marmul Huck. The king. Let's talk about hands. Do you eat with hands often? I, 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 well, I eat things that don't use a spoon with hands. So I'll eat like kebabs with hands, yeah. lamb chops, yeah. pizzas, burgers, yeah, yeah, yeah. fries, stuff like that. But rice, I don't. Rice, you don't eat with hands. No, rice, I eat with the with the with the spoon. With a spoon, okay. Um, roti, obviously. Yeah. Roti salan, yeah. Pati, and that yeah. I love, you know, the hands yeah. and that. Um, but yeah, otherwise, no. For ri rice, I think is the main one, but I use I use a spoon for. Yeah, it. that is a real difference because like Bengalis, we eat rice with our hands. Right. Is that because you can't af afford spoons or? Oh no, it, it's very much that like we kind of. <laughs> I'm just I don't know a lot about your culture, so I'm yeah. just being inquisitive. I'm so, being, Inquisitive. Yeah, Bengalis have got the fastest growing economy in South Asia. Pakistan has no government. Anyway, so we can we make the spoons for you guys. Right, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We're driving your economy by yeah. buying spoons. We're spoons, the really idiots buying spoons yeah, 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 of yeah. Bangladesh. Yeah, exactly. And they're like <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't need this. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Um, but that is one difference I noticed because my dad always eats rice with the spoon. My dad's mm. here by the way. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. My, my, dad's not, my dad's not here. He's alive, but he's, he's alive. not, he's not yeah. present. He's in Blackburn. Blackburn. Okay, so you don't eat uh, rice with hands. In public, mm -hmm. in a restaurant that might be a bit more upmarket than this. Okay, like, you, a, like a dishum? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Would you feel self-conscious about eating with your hands? No. Okay. No, no, I'm, 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 I'm not, if, I think if I was in a, um, if I was in a, a white upmarket restaurant. Okay. Yeah. Like what? I don't know, name me, name, 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 me, name me one of my... <laughs> Burger King, Pizza Express. <laughs> well, if I was at Wagamama's, yeah. yeah. No, no, yeah. If I was at a market white restaurant called yeah, Wagamama's. Yeah. If I was at one of these joints you get... I don't know, name me one, man. 
St. John's Bread and Wine. I have no idea what that is, okay. but I wouldn't be there because it said wine in the title. <laughs> but I for a lot. I stuck for a lot. I'm going to smack you then. Yeah, you um, and if I was that white restaurant and I got a burger, I would I still eat it with my hands, but I would feel slightly self conscious about it. I was in Nando's once with a group of people. It was a work thing. Oh, that's a good upmarket white restaurant. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. With, 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 uh, it's a walking European restaurant. Yeah. And I was with a group of people. I think it was a work thing. And the people were eating Nando's with a knife and fork. Yeah. And I thought that was silly. Oh, do you eat Nando's with my hands? Yeah, it's chicken. That's interesting because I I eat and with knife you eat and Nando's with a knife and fork. Yeah. Who the fuck is this guy? Sorry, you eat Nando's with a knife and fork. Depends what I'm ordering. It's chicken. Yeah, no, it depends what I'm ordering though. Very very chicken. So what you're getting a knife and fork and and and, and are you slicing? The... So I do. Are you doing chicken? I, mean, I, don't, and I chips? don't eat chips like that. I eat chips like that. Yeah. So you're doing chips and the chicken. Yeah. Chicken. Hands. So like, because I have this thing with, on online about how I much prefer. I think pilau is the better dish than biryani. But I mean proper ghost pilau. Yeah. It's not a pilau you get at Pakistani weddings. Yeah. I prefer that over biryani. That's interesting. Biryani to me is like there's too much. There's a lot going on. And I understand that because you're Pakistani. Yeah. And Pakistani do the worst biryani of all of South Asia. I said it with my chest. All right. I, I, I don't, I've, of I've, all biryanis, Pakistani is the worst. I take no offence at that whatsoever because I don't like biryani and I've had biryani, I've had Bengali biryani, I've had Hyderabadi biryani, yeah. I've, had, oh, I've had Karachi biryani, which is meant to be the best biryani in Pakistan. Yeah. Uh, so relatively speaking. Yeah. But I, like, I, I don't hate it. Yeah. Like, I, don't think it's, I don't think it's rubbish. Because yeah. sometimes we, we tend to put things in black and white. Like, if you don't love something, you therefore hate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't hate it. Yeah. I just, you think, I just think it's fine. I just prefer pilau. Okay. Fine. We'll get Nihari. Yes. But what is the thing that what you're... What do you eat with Nihari? Is it with rice or do you usually, eat with roti? Usually with naan. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, so that's we'll fine. get naan and um, that's fine. Nihari. But... My go-to dish at Pakistan restaurant yeah. is lamb chops and sea kebab. Starters. Okay. I, in my experience over the last two, three years, going to restaurants and going out with my wife and friends and stuff like that. Flex. Most. He's got, got a wife and nine. He's got a wife, family and friends. He knows I've got. I've only got. Triple, triple threat. I've got one. One out of three of those. Yeah. And that's well, family. Really? Even that. Um. Got. I've got a full house in it. Um, <laughs> yeah, you do. So, um, sea kebab. I, I think. I think I found that most places do starters really well. Yeah, they do. Whether it's a, whether it's a desi restaurant, yeah. a non desi restaurant, weddings. starters are always banging. And the weddings. Weddings. Yeah. Starters are banging. Mains are a hit and miss for yes. me at most restaurants. Right. And then dessert, I tend to go to like. That's dessert specialist place to get dessert. Okay. So I'm a very basic cookie. I can I can see that. When it comes to food. I can see that. Basic cookie. Like sea kebab, lamb chops, beat me like I'm a child, I'm happy. Pilau. And pilau. Do, and, should we get some pilau for and you? Some, and some rice and like, no, no. I, I, prefer, is... I prefer naan over pilau. Okay. I prefer naan, bread over rice. Bread over rice. Pilau over biryani. Fine. Because if we were to get pilau, you're going to have to eat it with your hands. Yeah, I'm happy to I'm happy to do that, but, 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 but I prefer bread over, over rice. Are you specific about what kind of naan you like? I do love a garlic naan. Yeah, classic. Can't stand a peshwari naan. I can't stand a peshwari naan. No, can't Stop stand a peshwari naan. naan. Peshwari naan is not the one. It's not the one. Garlic naan, bangs. Bang. Mm -hmm. um, garlic and coriander. I do love, I do love a roti chapati. Yeah, chapati. Simple roti, thin roti chapati is yeah. very banging as well. So basically, my dad has got a severe allergy to sesame seeds. Right. And so a lot of restaurants, surprisingly, particularly our restaurants, they're not very good at dealing with allergies. No, they're not. I, I think. Yeah, no, they're not. Because you're, like, you're like vegetarian or something. Because they're like, if you've got an allergy, you might as be gay. Yeah, why are you here? Why are you here? Why you... Pussy all. That's what they call your dad right now. <laughs> I, I'm, personally, that was a violation. I know. I'm not sure if you're going to have it. I personally wouldn't have it. Here's a question, because you you've been to Pakistan more recently than I have. I've I not have, been in a long yeah, time. Yeah, I was there last month. When, what do you eat when you're there? Because I feel like the food there is going to be different to what we get in England. Yeah, so I find home-cooked food generally trash. With my chest. What? what? Trash. Well, your mum needs to get better at cooking. No, no, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> In Pakistan, my mum doesn't cook. Okay. She's on holiday too. I'm talking about the home cooked food that I get in Pakistan, yeah. which my mum doesn't make, because she doesn't cook there. Yeah. Trash. Really? No, no, actually, let me, let me, let me clarify. When they're doing it for a dawat, yeah. so when they're making food for an occasion, they've got help in though. Not necessarily. Okay. Then it's like there's an e extra special steps and efforts I've gone in. Yeah. And that food is fine. Yeah. Fine to good. Yeah. Day to day. Yeah. Apart from breakfast time and the Mickey Undy, yeah. which is always banging. Fresh Undy. Apart from that, bro, not not great. Not great. Really? Okay. But when you go to restaurants in Pakistan, yeah. 
banging. Yeah. And my favorite type of food in Pakistan is street food. Yeah, you know, the type that you regret in the morning. Yeah, what kind of stuff? Oh, bun kebab. Okay. Explain um, what bun kebab is. A bun kebab. It's a, it's a, it's like a sort a of burger. Patty. Yeah. It's a smash patty with an under and like and loads of spices and stuff yeah. and, and, a, and, a, and a tea cake. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what you call a bun. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and it's made live in front of you to so get a bit of a show. Yeah. And the way they crack the eggs and stuff. It's, all, it's, it's quite mesmerizing yeah, yeah, to watch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so I love that. I love street food. And, and, and I particularly like it. The less hygienic you think the vendor is, yeah. the greater the food is going to taste. Absolutely. That's a symbiotic relationship. Absolutely. Like here, this place has got a four star, four out of five rating. So it's going to be. Which is a bit upper, too high. It's a bit too, too high. It's a bit too high. Uh, usually, if I see a one or two, I'm like, the food's going to be sick and banging. Bang. Uh, Take a week off work. Yeah, but it's gonna be great. Yeah. I have. Like, if you need to lose some weight fast, yes, good, good idea. Go to a one-two star Hajin restaurant. Yes. A, the culinary experience is gonna be banging. Banging, yeah. And then you lose the weight exactly. that you need to the next week. Yeah. The best is when you go to Bangladesh and they're making like, and you can see them sweating and the sweat goes into oh, the food nice. as they serve it, and nice. you go, that's a proper that's, salt. That's, that's, yeah, that's the original that's, salt. Yeah. Loon bay. Loon. I've just noticed here the sweets menu. Now oh, yeah. you you have mm. very controversial opinions about desi sweets. I do. And desi desserts. I do. Can you share it with me, please? Okay, so I'm gonna say this with chest. I think Okay, in terms of food overall, yeah. Eastern food, yeah. smashes Western food. Yeah, all day every day. Take Italy and France aside. Yes. But even then. Yeah. Even even with that. Yeah. And Mexican isn't Western, Mexican is Eastern. Eastern. As far yeah. as I'm concerned. Yeah, I agree. If you're brown, you're Eastern. Yeah. If you're Eastern so, chilies, so yeah. when I mean yeah, so yeah. that's what I mean. And so if white overall, people have oppressed you in any way, you're Eastern. Yes. So for me, Eastern, and I include Mexico in that, food over Western food. Yeah. Dessert wise, yes. Western desserts over Eastern desserts. This is controversial. All day. Every day, Monday to Sunday, yeah. 366 days a year, because yeah. this is a leap year. Okay. It's really February 29th. All right. I wholeheartedly disagree. Okay. But this is not, again, this is not me to say that. So when I say this stuff, people are like, oh, I can't believe you think it's the dessert of shit. Yeah. That's not what I'm saying. Do you say, okay. Glob jamun, bang in. Okay. Hot glob jamun, yeah. cold ice cream. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Baklava, yum, 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 yeah. yum. I'm saying overall, Western desserts, your cakes, your snacks, your confectionery, your French patisserie. You can't put snacks and confectionery in there. It's there though. They just go for desserts. It's, but it's part of it though, isn't it? I'm saying anything, when you've got sweet tooth, yeah. and you might okay. reach for a chocolate, yeah. you might reach for a sweet, yeah. you might reach for, so you might reach for confectionery, yes. or you might reach for dessert. Yeah. All of that, give me the Western stuff over the Eastern stuff. Have you ever had a South Asian cake? Yeah, they're good. Dead. The, nowadays they're good. Dead. Butters. Eggless. Dead. Have you had an eggless cake? Dead. I like eggless cake. Dead. I don't know, man. Because the, there are some cakes, like a Victoria sponge. Banging. Goated. Or oh, goated. All day, every day. It's a simple Victoria sponge, $2.99 uh, from Asda. Other supermarkets are available. Yeah, yeah. Banging. Black forest gas you can get in the bin. No, I'm not a big fan of that. Yeah. But then if you get a proper chocolate cake, good from the Bruce, the Bruce Rock Trotter yeah. in Matilda cake. Yes. And there's a place I can recommend in Leicester. Yeah. I'm not getting paid for this. Yeah. Um, that does a bang it. That's to call it a Bruce cake. Yeah. Uh, from Matilda, bang it. But none of those things. Birthday cake. Ah. Oh. But they don't hit the soul like a jalebi. I don't think they hit the soul like. Uh, yeah, but then French, but French patisserie does. Oh, French. but the school desserts do. Uh, school desserts. I don't want no, to no. talk about the so, French. So this is a this, okay. this is a northern thing. School yeah. desserts do. School desserts do. Hot pudding. Yeah. The sort of I will the, the hot that. custard or a cornflake tart or an apple crumble or a jam roly poly. Just a sponge cake. Oh, I will say that's. Or the mint custard with with the, with the, with, the, with the chocolate cake. Okay. Bang in. in front of you. Hot gulab jamun ice cream. Oh yeah. Yeah. Who's getting married? School. Whose wedding is it? Yeah, but this is it. Whose wedding That's one thing I've noticed, you like wedding food. But yeah, basically I, I your do job. love wedding food. Yeah. It's, uh, whose wedding is it mine? Okay. Right, so okay. come to my wedding. Yeah. Inshallah, Abu. Uh, Inshallah. His dad, come, come, come to my wedding. His dad's gone misty eyed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> his dad gone, I thought this was a non fiction <laughs> podcast. <laughs> <laughs> right, so at my wedding, yeah. I'm serving hot gulab jamun with ice cream. Mm. I'm serving a sponge cake with custard. Um, okay, so we're saying hot custard. Yeah. What sort of sponge cake are we talking? We're talking like a classic school, uh, school chocolate. Like a jam roly poly. Just say that because that'll get me hard. Uh, all right, jam roly poly. Oui. 18 plus. Okay. Oui. And we got uh, rasmalai. 
And I can only have one. What? I can only have one because I'm yeah. with my wife and she's yeah. watching. Yeah. And she's watching my. She's watching yeah. my 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 figure. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You can only have one. Which one are you having? Out of the two, Ross Malai can get in the bin. Not because I don't like Ross Malai, but out of the three. Okay. Ross Malai's in the bin. Okay. Now, out of the two, yeah. if this was my last ever meal, yeah. I'd go for the hot custard. <laughs> Why? Because I prefer it. Okay, just prefer it. But at your wedding, uh, in the context of your wedding, I'll probably yes. get the glob jam and hot. Because I'm in, because I'm in the, um, I'm, I'm in, I'm in the mood in it. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in wedding mood. Yeah, I'm in wedding mode. I'm in wedding mode. Just tell you what else can get in the bin. Yeah. Rippy ice cream can get in the fucking no. bin. No, 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 no. Get in the fucking I'm, bin. I'm not happy with Rippy this. Rippy ice cream get in the bin. First of all, invited by Margaret Thatcher. Get in the bin. I like Margaret Thatcher. Well, you would, wouldn't you? I'm <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Mr. Whippy is unbelievable. Are no, you mad? Bin, get in the bin. Are you kidding get in me? The bin. What, over a gelato? Yeah! Mr. Whippy over a gelato? If I'm going to the seaside and someone puts I'm a gelato on we, my coat. Why are we in the seaside? <laughs> why we, where's the seaside come the seaside, from? I associate, where's the seaside come from? I associate Mr. Whippy with the seaside. I'm at the seaside because I'm going to get the boats in. Get the boats uh, in. You That's going to, why I'm there. You're going to, uh, you're going to a slightly mid market dessert place, right? Yeah. They've got Whippy on top. Yeah. They've got, they've got a, a wall. Yeah. And then they've got gelato. They've got yeah. Italian gelato. Yeah. And this is like premium Italian yeah. gelato, right? Yeah. They've got standard walls. Yeah. Or they've got whippy. Yeah. Right? And yeah. you've got a corn, you've got a waffle corn. Yeah. First of all, get a fucking waffle corn. Respect yourself. Yeah. You've got a waffle corn. Yeah. What are you putting in that waffle corn? Mr. Whippy. What the? With nuts and strawberry sauce. And you said that I'm basic. <laughs> Can I ask you a question, actually? You know when you eat roti? So I presume, I presume you eat with your right hand. Yeah. Because you've been bought well. Yeah. Um, where do you put your roti in placement of how you're eating your food? So, if there's too much food on the actual main plate, mm -hmm. I have a separate plate for my roti. Okay, so, so that separate plate, where, what side is it on? Right hand side. Oh, my hand's on my left hand side. Because I can't... Did you do that? I find, I find it difficult. So, say, 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 say... Or in front, maybe. So, my, so my salon's here, my, my, my curry's here, right? Yeah. And I would, I would find it difficult to do this, and I find it easier to do this. That's interesting. So this is the, the benefit of slightly, you know, um, of eating with your hands already, which is with the right hand, you get a tactile experience of enjoying the temperature, you get to see what it is, and your left hand is free to help yourself serve whatever you need to serve. Oh, look at that. I absolutely love, love, love. And you'll notice that, like, we trust each other's hygiene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I trust that you wash your hands. Of course. And you're going to be clean. So I'm not yeah. worried, like, if you, if you touch something in my plate, I'm not going to be like, oh, I can't eat that now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be like, fine, that's not a problem. Of course, not a problem. So I, I don't eat... Starters with none. I eat starters plain. Oh, Aca interesting. I eat starters a cappella. That's interesting. I yeah. always eat this stuff. See, I don't. I don't like ruining the taste of this with bread. That's mad. I save my bread for my mains. Right. Unless it's hummus, of course. Okay. So hummus. Eat, eat hummus with bread. I'm gonna take half of this. I'm also a a, a one-handed ripper. No, I'm not. I'm one-handed all day. I'm not. Delicate one-handed. Mmm. Uh, let's get some sheet kebab. And some piaz, mm. put it together. Oh, I get a little lump to go there. Sauce is not bad actually. Mm. What is it bad? What is that pink sauce you tell me? It just tastes like a red chili pepper sauce. I don't know what's in it, but it's nice. <laughs> Now, I'm interested to see, if you don't mind, I'm gonna, because you're going to eat with your hands, mm -hmm. I want to see how it goes into your mouth. Okay. What your usual fare is. There's people... Okay, good, because you picked up a piece. I think I've got this weird thing about people who, when they're eating, I'll show you what I mean. They have the index finger out, so they put, go in their mouth like that. What? A lot of people do this. Really? And it drives me insane. Where's that, where's that going? I don't know. Is someone out? Someone's... Yeah. I'm watching cricket. Yeah. <laughs> no, I use my index. My index finger is my most dexterous finger. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Now in a mixed grill, I don't often see chicken wings. Hmm. I do. Do you? Hmm. The sauce has got like a peri peri flavour to it. I thought it was a uh, malai. No, I can see that actually. The orange, yeah. Mm. This is the real test. It's to see how well, in my opinion, he eats that chicken wing. Oh, bro, you're gonna be impressed. You're gonna be impressed. Because okay, let's go. You might have to forward this. Oh yeah. Off the bone completely. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on, don't piss about. Yeah. I can't stand when people leave like half a chicken. Yeah. Chunk. I'm like, nah, bro. When you're done something, with chicken. Something's died for you. Yeah. Respect it by mm. finishing it. Yeah. 
when you have a chicken wing, you've got to make sure that there's nothing left. Hang on. People have got to think, oh, there was, couldn't have been any meat on this bone ever. What's happened here? One thing that's a real benefit of eating with your hands as well is you can scoop up the sauce as you go along, mm. um, which is what bread is great for. But also, you'll see the delicateness of it. You're never meant to get any masala or anything past this line. Okay, I, I think I'm He's quite... a bit messier. But I'm still, not, I'm still I'm doing all right. Yeah, I'm doing all right. It's all clear. That's all clear then. But what's right interesting now? with Tez is... Oh yeah, this, this hand, well, that's, that's not really my eating hand, but yeah. But Tez has gone in kind of both hands. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a both hand eater. He's, he's, a, he's a, I would say a messy eater. Yes, that's fair. Um, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna argue with that. Um, but I, I tend to be a bit more delicate with, which you'd be surprised by because I'm a fat person. So you'd think if I see food, I'm just shoveling it into my face. But actually, I like enjoying my food. So I'm gonna try hold this chicken what down. What a beautiful morsel. Look at that. It's got a bit of sea kebab in there. Got some fried onions, wrapped up in the bread beautifully. Nothing's dripping. That is a perfect morsel of food going into my mouth. That's why eating with your hands is so delightful and it feels great, I'm excited. So what is Nihari? So Nihari is a slow is cooked, usually lamb shank. And you get this thick kind of consistency because they do it with a cornstarch slurry, which is cornstarch so and water. I'm just, I'm just doing this for the camera's benefit. It's usually cooked. Ooh, look at that. Look at that beautiful bit of meat. Look at that. The meat will just fall off. There you go. It's falling off there, literally. Mm -hmm. good. But it's cooked over many hours. Mmm. That's nice, huh? As I'm going to press into this, the meat just kind of falls off. You push down, the meat just falls off. That's a good sign. Get the sauce all over it. So when we were younger, my uncle would teach us how to eat with eat roti, and he'd be like, "You got to make a." And this is why you need a bowl because it's harder to do it like this. You got to make a pipe. So he'd be like, "You got to make a pipe." Yeah. And then scoop it in, scoop it in, <laughs> and then yeah. Using both hands. So for me, the way I tend to eat food, particularly with bread, is what I call a press and scoop. So you got a bit of meat there, the protein source. Press down to get hold of it. Wrap around it. Sc scoop. And you've got everything on there that you need. All the flavour, all mm. the everything. It's not messy. And then, bam. As far as Nihari's go, this is a very, very good one. One of the better ones I've had. I've, I'm enjoying this. Are you? Yeah. They're not at the levels of a karai for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but it is, this is very nice. Very nice. I've got very specific rules about what you eat for breakfast. In Pakistan, they eat this for breakfast. No, they eat, well, yes, and pie as well. And pie for breakfast as well. And, and like, um, and they eat alwa as well, mm. which is a very sweet dish, yeah. like a very rich sweet dessert. Would you, would you eat this for breakfast? Um, it has to be a special occasion. I've definitely been offered it for breakfast. Yeah, uh, but no. Before a bit of filming, <laughs> next time on your ride, get some get some in that. Mm. No, this is way too heavy. I generally think breakfast is a con anyway. I think unless you in, I think unless you're in a physically demanding type of work, yeah, you don't need to have breakfast. Are you saying that our job is not physically demanding? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Abu, whose job is more physically demanding? You, a paramedic, or us, comedians? Which is more physically demanding? I think uh, overall. Yeah. Uh, it'd be ours. It'd be yours. Wow. I disagree. A bit arrogant. A bit arrogant All right, man. we get it, you're a paramedic. Let's go. In the grand scheme of things, but ours is more important. Yeah. <laughs> Because laughter is the best medicine. Laughter is the best medicine. I know it's the best medicine. I don't think you can pick up a patient lying on the floor with a laughter. We can try. Well, if, we if, can if, make you, make, if you make them laugh enough, they might stay up yeah. in laughter. <laughs> <laughs> my, my ribs. <laughs> I've moved on to the roti. The roti is different from naan. The roti is thinner, as you can see. Let's just do a little comparison. Naan. This is a naan bread. Roti. How they get the difference levels? Naan usually has yogurt in the dough. They usually put flour and yogurt okay. together. And this is usually flour and water. Okay. That's how you get the rise of it. I learned something as well, guys. I just learned something. I'm yeah. not cooked, so I don't know these things. Yeah. But yeah. Okay. So that's the main difference. Do you guys make naan at home? Because we never make naan at home. We don't. I've never so made only ever make roti at home. Yeah. It's hard. It's really hard to make naans in Britain because of um, racism. But that racism means we don't get dandoors in our house. Oh, that is racist. It is racist. That is racist, that. Right? They put toilets outside, but not dandoor. Come on, bro. Come on, man. We're coming, what's going on there? First time I ever saw someone doing a proper do where they, where, they go, where they put their head in and put something on the wall. Yeah. Blew my mind. Yes, man. Blew my mind. 
So imagine an oven that be on and uh, God of what degrees, and a guy will have a bread, obviously pre-baked, shove his head in, stick the thing on the wall, and then stick his head back out. And you're like, wow. And we'll have them in the And then delicious. in like five minutes, probably less than five minutes, you take it out, and there's your naan, or roti, or whatever it is. That's Harris. It's good, huh? If you think this video looks good, that's Harris. I fed Harris there, and I love doing that. Right up until um, I was in my late 20s, once a week I would ask my mum to feed her, feed me with her hands. Once a week. Not because I couldn't, because I wanted to. It was a nice emotional connection. You're looking at me like you're about to say something quite mean. Awesome. No. Go on. Say now that you said that, I won't. Yeah, go on. Um, go on, what do you want to say? Grow up. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's, it's, very, it's, very, it's very sweet. <laughs> That's very sweet. Yeah. That wasn't your initial reaction, was it? Oh, my initial reaction was, eh, brother, eh. What's that, brother? What's this, brother? Brother, what's that? Eh. Eh. Right. Now we're going to move on to paia. Like I said, paia is... Sheep feet? Usually feet? goat's feet. What's feet? Okay. Usually goat's feet. Um, it is a real delicacy, this. Very bony. The meat is delicious. It's all about the sauce in Pakistan, really. I think this is the dish that I ordinarily am not into. Yes. So I'm, in, I'm excited to, to try see it. how I feel about it. Mm. Yeah, not for me, that. Not for you. Not for me. I'm happy to be proven wrong on the Nihari. Yeah. But the pie, it's not, I'm not saying it's just disgusting. Just not for me, this. It's just not no, the flavour that you not, like. Yeah, not for me, that. What do you like with bones? I'm fine with bones. Big bones. I'm fine with bones. You, I, 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 scoop, I like scooping the marrow out. You scoop the marrow out with your mouth? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. A straw, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Usually you're right. Do you reckon there's... Um... There might be. Try it. Do you some marrow in there? There should be. Oh, I don't know if there is, but let's try it. Try it. It's like a pain with kazoo. No, I was... I was, I was, I was... Scooping up the sauce, there's not, if the marrow is deep down, I don't have the, um, I don't have the swimmer's lungs to mm. scoop it up. On death row, yeah. I would happily, happily go, having had my mum's pilau. Her chenna came up pilau? Yeah. Yeah? Go goated. Goated, okay. Her dal? Yeah. Goated. Like, her dal, when she gets a spot on, I can probably inhale a roti with that dal in like less than a minute. Oh, really? It's like oh, amazing. Hakima, banging. And are these, would you say these are your comfort foods? Yeah. When you're stressed out or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hakima is banging. Her um, um, kebabs. Mm. So she makes, the, she makes the, what are the round ones called? Shami kebabs? Yeah, shami kebabs. Yeah. Banging. Do you know the story behind shami kebabs? No. Uh, it was found in Rajasthan. Mm -hmm. And the king basically lost all his teeth in battle. Okay. And the wife said to the chefs, look, he, he loves his food, but he's got no teeth. What can you do? So they made a shemi kebab, a pasty type of kebab, which had all the spices and flavours in it. And so it's like a whole thing in one meal. Yeah. Like, yeah. So the, that's where the shemi so kebab So my mum's kebabs are very much like a Sikh kebab, mm. but in a shemi kebab style. Okay, exactly. okay. A sh shape. So shemi kebab shape, but very much a Sikh kebab in terms of flavour and... Do you mean chapli kebab then? Because chapli kebab is a bit different. Uh, maybe I mean chapli kebab then. Chapli kebab is... But it's banging. Like, I like... It's... Everyone in our, in our khandan loves my mum's kebab. Is that... Does the kebab you're talking about have the consistency of a shemi kebab? Of a shik kebab? Yes. Then it's a chapli kebab. Okay, so chapli kebab. Yeah. Then. Yeah, so my mum my makes... Just go it, chapli kebab. Yeah. Um, the original smash burger. Yes, exactly. The original smash burger. That's true. Yeah. Remember, Pakistan gave you smash burgers. It did. And they gave you... Put some respect on our name. On respect on the name. The PSL goes on the back. Put some respect. Pack. Put some respect. Respect. Put some respect on our name. Huh? One that's, take. That's why we own the big bucks. That's why we own. <laughs> that's why we earn the big bucks. Okay. So let's do a quick... Let's do a quick look at our plates. Mm -hmm. you, you do it like this <laughs> I feel like you're setting me up. That, that's because I haven't enjoyed... The last thing that you put on The there. last dish, yeah. So I would say that... For you to at least leave on the taste of something good, put something on there and scoop it up a bit with some roti or something. Yeah. And as you can probably tell from my plate, yeah. this is what it should look like at the end of a meal that you've eaten with your hands. Every bit is like enjoyed and tasted and eaten. And you can just pick off the final bits of food. So Tez, you're going on tour soon? Mm, When's yeah. your tour? Um, 
So September 2024, uh, for the whole of autumn winter, mm. and going the length and breadth of uh, the country. Very excited. I'm very excited for you. So, Tess, let's have a look at what your hands are like. So it's pretty I've good. Got, I've, got, I've got these three fingers that I use to help me rip stuff. Rip yeah. stuff. And then that, I've, there's been a bit of leakage yeah. here. But the main palm bit is kind of clear, which you want it to be. Yeah. Generally, if, if I was my grandfather, yeah. I'd be unhappy with how far down the fingers okay. you've gone. Mm -hmm. But generally, it's pretty good. Uh, I'm impressed. Thank you. Let's just have a look yeah. at mine. There's a couple of bits of seepage there just after. But generally, that is a clean hand. You know, I can, wow. I can probably touch a girl's face. Slap a baby with that and, oh, not, leave, like, and not leave any yeah. curry stains. Not leave any curry stains, just... Which is what you want when you slap a baby. Because if you, slap a, if you slap a baby, the last thing you want is when they're wiping to put yeah. curry in their eyes. Then, yeah, you, you don't, don't want, want that. that. So if you, you slap want... a baby, make sure you're, yeah. it's curry for your just hands. Just get full st straight, that's yeah. what you want. Just this palm bit, yeah, yeah, right yeah. across the cheek. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, for any kind of but the music. Because the last thing you want when they're crying is also their eyes watering. Their eyes watering because and it's just too much it's admin. Too much, it's too much. So you slap your baby with an open palm. Yeah, that's what we learned today. Yeah, Tez, what do you think of the food? Uh, I really, really enjoyed it. I would say seven out of eight. Seven out of eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It has to be eight, doesn't it? With yeah, you? of course. Um, uh, so seven out of eight there. So Aladdin's Kebabish, Northwest London, Hendon. The Nihari was excellent. The naans were brilliant. The mixed grill, although peri peri kind of flavour, I really really enjoyed. The bite, pretty good, but not my favourite of the lot. By London standards, this is pretty, I'm pretty impressed. Yeah? It's, it's a London 7 out of 8. It's a London 7... If it's a London 7 out of 8, what is it in a Blackburn? 5 out of 6. 6 out of 7. 5, 6 out of 8. 5, 6 out of 8? Yeah, 5 and a half out of 8, I'd say. I think that's a bit unfair. I think you're just being a bit racist, actually. Maybe. Come up north. Yeah, you are. Come up north. Tez, thanks, bro. Appreciate you.